Yeah! Ooh, look at that production quality. So good. Okay. So... What do you know about the Game & Watch Mario matchup? I know nothing. You but know I know nothing. this is actually Dr. Mario. And well, technically <laughs> they're the same character in this game. But that's, we don't need to get into that. Uh, dang, dude. Jay, is, Jay has gotten so much better lately. It's nuts. Okay, he took so, that first stock pretty clean. clean. Absolutely. He, uh, Jay has just gotten like extremely aggressive and very smart at the same time. He's, he's a ton of fun to play against now. Um, gonna be honest, he was he was super free before, and now it, like uh, he takes on that. End. I notice he's been getting pretty good spacing recently. Yeah, he's he's very good about spacing his attacks, and like uh, like he, he has these very uh, aggressive approaches, but he covers them with these hitboxes that stay out to, and he retreats like in small times. So it's like really hard to get, and as you can see, it's hard for somebody to get in. Uh, Quint's down two stocks already. And I don't really know much about Mario, but can he get like one good hit? Yep, there you go. Well, definitely kill percentage. Mario's strongest kind of aspects are his his grab game and his crouch cancel stuff. So like that down tilt you see in there and his down smash are very, very strong. So like he can take a bit of a hit and then immediately react to it. Um, but his kill kill moves are kind of like this down throw in the forward air. It looks like Kobe Bryant just dunking someone's forehead. <laughs> it's really good. I will say it does seem like Jay oh, he's trying to go for the reverse. Is still in control. Quinn's was getting the damage on Jay, but Jay seemed like he was still trying to space. Kobe! That's what I'm talking about. Down throw and the forward air. That's kind of Mario bread and butter there. That Quinn's actually got both the kills from the uh, down air. Ooh, that neutral air. Very nice. Very smart to use that there. Uh, Mario has really, really good recovery, provided nobody's allowed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I played Jay earlier with friendlies, and he kept me off the edge when I was off the edge. It was, it was not fun. <laughs> Quinn's is doing a pretty good job keeping him off, though. Uh, Quince, Quince has adapted pretty well so far. Uh, something that I've seen Jay like been, be able to deal with very, very well is like if you, ooh, very, very good smash. Yeah, he caught him slipping there. But Jay's like been very good about like stuffing you if you're trying to continuously just attack. Him. You don't pick your moments as opposed to just taking every chance you can. Uh, you're gonna start eating attacks. Like that. He's really good on that down tilt. He's been able to set up a lot of moves with it, or combos with that down tilt. Ooh, credit card. <laughs> All right, game one is going to Jay. And we're going to see. I, I don't anticipate either of these guys uh, changing characters. I know Quince has like a Marth, and like a Falco, and like a snake up his sleeve, but I really think he's trying to stick to the Mario lane. And this is where they would change if they were going to? Well, actually, the way it works is like they, you pick a stage and then the, uh, the, the loser gets to choose his character and then the winner gets to choose his character. Okay. Cat pick 101. All right. Going Pokemon Stadium. I really like this pick, actually. Um, you love all the Pokemon Stadiums. Yeah, they're so <laughs> good, though. I love it. But yeah, for, for Mario. It seemed like he had kind of a, a bit of an issue, like, getting away from when, uh, when Jay was on top of him. And now he's got more room to work with in the horizontal avenues, and that's kind of where uh, Jay looks to kill you. All of, all of uh, Game & Watch's stuff is horizontally oriented. Yeah, I noticed at the beginning of the match they were both throwing out those projectiles trying to get close to each other, but it seems like they stopped that and closed the gap. And get up attack. So what Quince is kind of doing right, right now, and what Jay is reacting to, is uh, it's something I like to call like air magneting. Like, it's when you jump up in the air and like you kind of like gravitate towards your opponent no matter what. Like you don't feel too afraid to just land on the ground without throwing an attack. And uh, Jay has gotten so smart lately about just like punishing those kinds of things. 
Gwen's getting some hits in. And there it stops, switches that quick. If Quince is wanting to take the stock, he's, he's going to have to start really looking to set things up. He can't just kind of run in there like with that down smash like he's trying. He's really going to have to catch Jay slipping if he's going to get something like that. And Jay is really good about his spacing and especially stopping people's approaches with the down tilt. Oh my god, his down tilt is so good. Like, it stuffs me all the time. Oh my god, he, he murders me. Uh, he murders me with that setup all the time. It's cool to see Jay got out, or Quince got out of it. Jay was preparing for the uh, Bills to come out. You can see Quince is really struggling to just take this guitar up. And down, down two stocks. But he was down two stocks last game, too. Yeah, and he was still able to make it one stock to one stock. Yeah, yeah, he brought it back to it. It was like last, last stock last game. Oh, Kobe! There it is. Kobe! Let's see how much coins we'll be able to bring it back. That down tilt, Game oh. & Watch is bread and butter. Oh my god, Jay is, Jay is playing so good. Is that a turtle Game & Watch throws out? Yes, I was, I was informed by Jay uh, that that is Franklin the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> he, is, he needs business. <laughs> Quinn's is, I feel like, being a lot more careful on this stock. Like, keeping yeah. his distance. And just trying to time a lot better. Kobe! I'm sorry, I love that dunk. <laughs> it's so good like that. But yeah, he, he's playing careful, and that's uh, kind of what you need to do. Not just in general, but like, especially when you're down. If you're down like two stocks like that, and you keep trying to do the same stuff that's not working, you're going to be down three stocks like that. Yep. And with just how quick Jay is able to get different moves of Game Watch out. Ooh, that was smart. Oh. oh. That was really... Oh my god, that whole thing was really clean. That was a really good combo by Quinn's. It's caught with the roll. Credit card. I feel like Game Watch has quite a few kill moves. Yeah, he's got he's got a lot of strong attacks and, and uh, strong stuff, but he he really does die very very quickly to big powerful moves. So it kind of makes him more of that last game. Uh, what kind of percent do you think Game Watch would be able to die from the? Uh... Now he can die definitely now. Like if he gets that strong forward air and like a, a fairly strong down smash, he's going flying off the stage. But. Jay knows he's got this extra stock to work with, so he's like, hey, I'm going to keep racking up for Sam, maybe take the last stock. You know, even if you kill me, I'm coming back. Jay's just throwing out those yeah, yeah, side Jay's, Bs, getting that randomizer going. So, Game & Watch's uh, side B in this game actually has like a bit of a Russian roulette to it, to where like you can prep it uh, a little bit. Uh, Missed the forward air. <clears throat> that, oh, forward throw. That was amazing, because he knew he was going to DI out, and he's like, you know what, I'll help you DI out of the stage. <laughs> Quinn's almost That's died from that credit card, though. Oh, wow, that was really cool. DI's left, and then immediately tech rolls right. Down throw. Quinn's has to be really careful. He can still bring this back, but... Uh, uh, yeah. Very well-timed yeah. detail. And another well timed down tilt. Congratulations over to Quince and uh, I'm actually gonna